Engineering and Politics, with Stephen the Engineer. Think back to the last time you attempted to assemble a jigsaw puzzle, a massive one, say 8,000 pieces. It's a challenge, isn't it? A test of patience, determination, and maybe your sanity too. Now, for a moment, let's take that complexity up a notch. Imagine those puzzle pieces as millions of people, sprawling landscapes, multitudes of homes, roads, bridges, tunnels, parks, power grids, and more, all needing to be pieced together harmoniously. Welcome to the intricate world of engineering and politics, where creativity meets order and precision, where the blueprints are often far from straightforward. And the rulebook? It's a labyrinth of legislations, standards, and policies. Let's paint a picture. Visualize a city, the urban jungle where steel and glass scrape the sky, where concrete and asphalt sprawl out in every direction. These thoroughfares, they aren't just strips of asphalt or lanes drawn on the ground. They're the golden arteries of the city, designed meticulously, methodically, to keep the city's heart beating and its life flowing. Behind these urban landscapes, there's a group of unsung heroes, the invisible sculptors of our societies, the engineers who have stepped into the political sphere. These are the masterminds of our urban lives, the conductors of the grand orchestra that is city living. They're responsible for orchestrating the growth and development of our societies in ways that most of us barely notice or even comprehend. Consider the everyday elements of your life, traffic lights, water pipes, electrical systems. These are the lifeblood of our modern society, essential commodities that we often take for granted. Yet, it's so easy to forget that behind every green light, every gush of clean water from our faucets, every device powered at the flick of a switch, there's a political decision, a mathematical equation, and an engineer turning abstract plans into concrete reality. Now, these engineers aren't merely silent contributors, they are driving forces in the political landscapes. Their decisions, their designs, their blueprints, they ripple through our lives, their impacts echoing from the tiny pothole on your neighborhood street to the sprawling park your children play in. But remember this my friends, not every structure, not every policy, not every plan is created equal. The result? It's not just a towering skyscraper or a smooth road. It's the quality of our lives, the harmony in our communities, the safety of our neighborhoods. And here's where the story gets even more fascinating. The essence of engineering and politics is not just about erecting physical edifices, it's about envisioning and constructing futures. It's about navigating the tangled web of legislations, wrangling with a complex confluence of science, technology, policy, and humanity to build societies that not just survive, but thrive. This, dear viewer, is the mesmerizing dance of engineering in politics. It's a world of shape and form, decisions and consequences, stones and stories. And finally, it's a delicate balance of innovation and regulation, design and application, vision and implementation.